Hello and welcome to this episode of Talkies. I'm your host Kits. And I'm Finn. And so begins episode 3 of the show that promotes a better understanding of Islam whilst clearing common misconceptions along the way. Well, we try. We've got a special guest joining us today. We do? Who is it? The Queen of England? No. Um, oh! Jackie Chan? No. Batman? No. Uncle Flan? No. No, no, and no. How about I... Bill Gates? How about I show you? That's not a proper guest. Today, we're going to talk about creation. You know, Finn, some people have this idea that you either believe in science or religion. You ever hear that term? Science or religion? What do you think about that? Can't say I agree. In fact, Muslims are ordered to seek beneficial knowledge and advance in all fields, including science, technology and medicine. The first thing to realise about creation is that all correct knowledge that humankind has about creation is from the Creator. So what we know through modern science and technology is knowledge that has been allowed to us. The eyeball! Just the eyeball, Finn. It's so incredibly complex. Do you know that? Just reflect on that for a while. Then think about the universe in all its majestic majesty. It's so incredibly vast and magnificent that we can never understand it entirely. To suggest that all of creation came from nothingness and then nothing happened to the nothing... No, something happened to the nothing. R right, okay. Something then happened to the nothing and then there were a series of random events which brought about all of this order through complete chaos. It just doesn't work. That's not something that really works rationally. Instead, we say that it is the Creator that has brought about the creation around us, and He is beyond our understanding. But in His infinite mercy and wisdom, He has given us certain knowledge about the universe. In this day and age, we call this modern science. For the most part, anyway. There are various verses in the Qur'an that prove theories such as the Big Bang. We'll add those below, so you can look them up for yourself. One verse confirms that creation started from one point. Another, that it began from a gaseous mass. Um, the fact that the universe is expanding. That the planets are in orbit. Yeah. The nature of the sun and the moon. Yeah. You can find these and more verses about creation on our website. The link is below. But anyway, we've just been sharing our humble opinions. We're not scientists or scholars. Yeah, we're just a couple of penguins having a chat. Let's instead turn to the Qur'an as confirmation of what we've discussed. Finn? Chapter 2, verse 255, please. <laughs> له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم. Thanks very much for listening, and thanks to our special guest today, Plant. Thanks for doing your bit, Plant. Yeah, Plant, you've been a real trooper. We'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel and post a comment below. Can we listen to that again, please? Yeah, sure. First smile for the camera. <laughs>